In this today's video, we will be looking what are the major things to look in while executing the trades in Forex. First, screening. Second, allocation of supply and demand. Third, where to execute the trades. Fourth, how to execute the trades. Fifth, till where will you hold the trades. Let's start with the video. Starting with the screening, first we'll be looking in daily time frames. Let's allocate the supply and demand. With the supply and demand, let's look into the mathematical numbers. What do we notice? We do have a S2 scenario over here. With this S2 scenario, we will allocate our first demand range of action till this point of thing, where market took a small inducement range generation. We will multiply the demand and we will reallocate it post the inducement. Post allocation of inducement, what are the next things that we'll be working on? Currently, if we notice, the market had continuously break the structure at this point of action, right? When there is a break of structure in the continuity, what is the one thing that we'll be doing? We'll be multiplying the demand and we will expect a rejection from 150%. As we marked 150%, what is the first thing that we notice in this range? The market took the rejection from 150%. Post 150% of the rejections, what are the next thing that you will be looking at? Market followed the rule, took the rejection. At this point of action, the scenario of S1 was created. Wonderful. But what are the next things? Allocate the supply. Allocate the supply. With the supply, what could be your current demand? The current demand will be as per your previous supply in the demand range. This will act as your demand in the current moment. Market took the rejection from same point of action. Post that, whatever the supply you had gotten first, that will act as your second target point. At that point of action, did we get an inducement range generated? Yes, definitely the inside candle two candles played, third candle execution. What are the next steps that we'll be working at this current state of actions? Here, we will allocate the first point of action. This will be your demand. Whatever the inducement range allocation will be there, that will be working as your supply retracement point, right? Once you allocate the supply retracement point, what are the next things that you will be working on? Things you will be working on is multiplying the previous demand and allocating it in the current. Post allocations, what do we notice? Did the market follow the rule? Yes, it did follow the rule. What did the market do? Market tried to create an inducement over here. With the inducement, market took a placement again. In this placement, what is your next target allocations looks like? At the demand is allotted. What are the next things? Okay, we need to have a proper supply allocation again. So which one do you select? the previous moment of allocation will act as your current supply allocations, right? Post your supply allocations is done, what do we notice? Did the market close above the supply range? No, definitely the wick was generated, that's totally fine. But the body should close inside the candle range, right? Post this moment is allotted, what are the next steps? This is your previous allocation point of the demand, we will mark out that range. With this point of action, the same will get multiplied at the current state of actions, right? Post allocating the current state of actions, let's look into the multiplied version, which is this. Where exactly market took the rejection from on the completion of the demand. At this point of actions, our demand was clear. And why exactly this point was the reason to take a moment Exactly where the demand was drawn, the market took the rejections, no doubt. But why? There must be a reason behind it. So let's allocate the swing high of this point of action, the swing low of this point of action, and the retracement point of this point of action. Right? The swing high is at 1.34310. Swing low is at 1.29088. And retracement point is at 1.30484. Post allocating of swing high, swing low and retracement points, let's calculate the numbers. What are the numbers that we are looking for? First, we will subtract the swing high and swing low, which is 
थ्री फोर थ्री वन जीरो माइनस वन पॉइंट टू नाइन जीरो एट एट वॉट इज द फॉर्मुलेटिव नंबर दैट वी हैव गॉट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू 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 वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स दैट वील बी लुकिंग द मार्केट इज बेरिश वेर इज द रिट्रेसमेंट पॉइंट दैट वी आर हैविंग द रिट्रेसमेंट पॉइंट इज वन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो फोर एट फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू 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 विच इज आर फॉर्मुलेटिव नंबर इन टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट वॉट इज द फॉर्मुलेटिव नंबर दैट वी हैव गॉट एंड वॉट इज द गोल्डन रेशियो दैट वी हैव रिसीव एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ एक्शन द गोल्डन रेशियो दैट वी हैव रिसीव एट द करेंट पॉइंट ऑफ एक्शन इज वन पॉइंट टू टू जीरो थ्री फोर एट जीरो फोर राइट सो इन दिस पॉइंट ऑफ एक्शन लेट्स अलॉकेट द सेम नंबर एंड चेक वेदर द मार्केट हैड टेकन द रिजेक्शन फ्रॉम द सेम 1.22034 yes we got a second plan of action post completion of second plan of action what is the next plan of action that we'll be looking at the next plan of action we will increase the point of actions to the same number of allocations What is the swing high we are having? One point three four three one zero. What is the swing low? One point two eight four three nine. What is the retracement point? One point three zero four eight four. Let's do the mathematical calculations on perspectives to the same. So currently we will subtract the swing high, which is one point three four three one zero, minus the swing low, one point two eight four three nine. What is the formulative number that we have got? Zero point zero five eight seven one. What is the next step that we'll be looking at? The next step we'll be looking at is one point three zero four eight four minus because the direction is bearish. What is the formulative number? Zero point zero five eight seven one into one point six one eight. What is the golden ratio that we are getting? The golden ratio we are getting is one point two zero nine eight. Let's look into the math. One point two zero nine eight four, where exactly the market is taking the rejection from from the same point of action where the demand ended. So this is the preciseness of the mathematical edge in the markets. With this point of action, let's look into the next circulations of the moment. In the next circulations of the moment, what are the major things that you will be looking at? We will allocate the major supply and demands. At this point of action, this is our major supply. Post this, the market took a rejection. How much? As per the previous demand, the current demand was generated. Post the current demand was generated, the previous supply will work as your current supply. with the current supply what is the retracement that you will be looking at the retracement point of action can be either doubling of this or the entire inducement range which is this point of action right once the inducement is generated what is the next steps that you will be looking at the allocation points the post the allocations what is the steps that will be following what is the retracement we have got this is the supply post the supply multiplied version will be continuity of post the retracement point right post the retracement point market took a rejection and continued here at this point of action what are the retracements that will be calculating this will be your first retracement point of action post your retracements are allotted what are the next steps allocating the movement at this point of action will be at this stage what did market do market sustained and continued in the direction so we will multiply the version at this point of action post multiplied what is the first step that we will be looking at we will be allotting 150% range so this will be our 150% range at the current state of actions and let's do the math and check what exactly the market is trying to do at this point right when we have marked all the levels what is the swing low swing low will remain the same the swing high will be at 1.25306 and swing low will remain at the same 1.20984 and retracement point will be working in the circumstances of 
1.22577. Let's do the mathematical calculation. Swing high 1.25221 minus the swing low 1.2. 0.984. What is the formulative number that we have got? 0 0.04237. What is the retracement point? 1.22577. Direction bullish plus 0 0.04237 into 1.618. What is the number that we are getting? 1.29432. So let's mark out the number and check where exactly the point of actions looks like. 1.29432. Did the market take the rejection from the same plan of actions? Yes, definitely the market took the same plan of action of rejection. Post completion of this, what are the next steps that we'll be allocating over here? The next step we'll be allocating over here is the intermediate ratio with the same plan. And how does the intermediate ratio works at the current stage? The intermediate ratio will work in two scenarios by allocating the intermediate ratio of two. So retracement point is 1.22577. Direction bullish 0 0.04237 into 2. 1.31051 so let's allocate the number in the market 1.31051 1.3051 okay where exactly market we are having the intermediate ratio the intermediate ratio is exactly at 150% so that could be the next rejection point where we'll be looking on a daily time frame. So this is how the screening has been done. Follow this rules. So once we saw into the execution of the screenings, what are the next steps that we'll be looking at? Where to enter the trades? So at this current stage, we can see there is a moment which has been built in the directions of the levels, which is our target is at 1.30462, right? First allocate the previous supply. From the supply, you will get a retracement. With that retracement point of view, you will get a rejection point. Right? So post the rejections, what is the next step that you look? How much did you get the retracement and from where? The previous supply will work as your current retracement demand at this scenario. When that scenario is completed, what are the next steps that you look? How big was the retracement? The moment of the current retracement, what we have got, from where and how much was it created? Where is the inducement level? The inducement level is at this point of action. Allocate the entire moment of the inducement to the low point. That will work as your current retracement in your bullish moment. Right? Post allocations, how do you look for an execution? Okay. Post the retracement, where will you execute the trade? You will be executing the trades and entering at the point of action with a setup of only S2, right? Majority of the time, the market will create only S2 setups for execution in Forex. So let's look into the movements. How does the market tend to show you? In this scenario, if you notice, this was the first candle, second candle break, third candle rejection and continuity. Right. Same scenario. Market was in S2 formation, post S2 formation. Market played inside the same zone for a moment, gave a break and now it is continuing. And till where you will see the next moment from which point of action the market will tend to take the rejection. To look in that perspective, first we have to allocate the supplies. Right. This is the supply that what I'll be looking at first stage. Yes, definitely. Post the retracement point, where is the next supply looking at? The next supply is looking at this stage, right? So this will be the next plan of action, right? And how do you get the final confirmation? Key market will come down to 1.30462, right? Let's do the math, right? In that scenario, what are the first things that you will be looking at? The swing high point, the swing low point, and the retracement point. Once you allocate this, let's do the math. 
and check where exactly the market tend to take the rejection from. In this scenario, what is my swing high? 1.29897 minus 1.29558. What is the formulative number? 0 0.00339. Once we get a formulative number, what is the next step that we'll be looking at? Once we got a formulative number, what is the next step that we'll be working on? We'll be working on looking into our targets. So what is the retracement point? 1.29782 direction bullish. So we'll add 0 0.00339 into 2. What is the number that we are getting? 1.306 where exactly that number is tend to be at 1.306 is exactly where our target is at right so that's how you look into the positions of the direction and be in the direction of the market so once you get in this allocation points you just have to sit patience fully once you get a break allocate the trades with following setup of s2 and holding the trades will be always till the mathematical numbers. Okay, guys. This is the way to look in perspectives of swing trading and allocating the trades in the directions of the market. Do the back testing, do the forward testing, be in the directions of the market. Don't panic while executing. Follow the risk management and emotional less trading is very important. Post this. Only one thing, while winning, being happy and while losing, becoming sad is not a quality of the trader. Make sure you execute the trades in the directions of the math. Sit patience fully till the targets are hit. Whatever doubts you are having, please do hit it in a comment so that we can look into the perspectives of simplifying the versions in the live streaming. If you like the video, do hit a like, share and subscribe. We'll catch you up in the next video. Thank you. Dhaniawad.